don't judge a book by its cover. It's a saying that gets thrown around for a reason. It's a, it's a metaphor, it's an analogy, it's a simile. It's one of these three things that I always keep mixing up in my brain. It's supposed to teach us, like, on the outside, we're not all exactly <clears throat> what we might appear. Still waters have deep depths. It could be taken literally, like, to the caravans. Caravans, <laughs> caravans, I keep saying caravan. To the caravans, which isn't skilled. It's got a very basic wizard on a cover with a staff. But it's actually, to me, quite an entertaining read. And then you've got the Black Death Wave with a helicopter, and I swear to God, I... I just can't get this sticker off without ruining the cover. Written by Stephen Coons and William H. Keith. And it's a New York Times bestseller. And Tom Clancy said, Stephen Coons just keeps getting better. But it didn't do much for me, despite the fact it's like, this is a big name. This is a big title. It's got a helicopter. But, I'm not actually talking about books. I'm not talking about people either. Unless there's people involved within the books. I'm talking about movies. Inspired by... I'm going to try and find it. If I can't find it, I'll cut in... I'll leave in the next bit where I explain what I saw. by the previous image you saw or inspired by the previous image you didn't see Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad movie saying don't judge a movie before it's out like not only on the merits of a trailer ha 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 sorry the voice is in my head But wait, cried the pendant, me. Yes. In this case, by all means, judge a book by its cover. I'm not even talking about the covers of the DVD boxes they're going to put it on, or the movie posters. I mean, <clears throat> look at Transformers. Transformers had a great set of posters, at least I had a great set of posters of the original Transformers of Optimus Prime on one side looking to his left and Megatron on the opposite side looking to his right and one set like uh, Freedom, the other set like Oppression something like that, I'm not quite sure, I lost the posters unfortunately only one of the moves were made, many many moves <coughs> So, you get a trailer for a new movie. You, you have not heard anything of this, or you may have heard a bit of this, and it leaves you with a sour taste. Then you get the people saying, the people, don't judge the movie before it's out. My argument for this is that movies are products. Obviously they're products. It can be beloved by you, they can be beloved by beloved, beloved by many, millions upon millions. But in the end, there's just something people want to sell you. They don't necessarily want to sell it to you by by gaining financial means from it. <clears throat> but you can at least assume that most people that make a movie want to make something that other people want to see. Even me just ranting against the camera. And I've been thinking about this for quite a while. Even me standing in front of a camera, in front of my bookcase, in front of my room, just going wavy hands, drinking beer, tossing books on the side. I'm trying to sell you, quote unquote, my opinion. You don't necessarily have to agree with it. You don't necessarily have to like it. <clears throat> so 
So if a big company like, let us say, Warner Brothers, uh, pitches the Suicide Squad movie, which is just to stay on the same train of thought with the Suicide Squad, the first trailer, as far as I know, wasn't received that very well, in my personal opinion, and it wasn't a bad trailer. I personally have been going for the idea for a Suicide Squad movie for quite some time. I'm like, neat. I like the idea that they're taking a franchise that DC Comics is not quite as well known for. Granted, they're turning most of it into B-list, C-list Batman characters. <clears throat> but, no problem, no biggie. Suicide Squad needed some big names. Harley Quinn, Joker, Deadshot, Killer Croc. All fit the bill for the type of movie Suicide Squad is turning out to be. So, the first Suicide Squad movie trailer, not that big. <clears throat> so, when the people who do the marketing, I take it, found this out, they released the second trailer. Nowadays, a popular thing is first trailer, second trailer, lunch, second lunch, dinner, supper, lupper, second dinner, <clears throat> all the Hobbit jokes in the world. So, they released the second trailer. Recut with Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. And, okay, that one, to me personally, again, opinions, I didn't like that one as much because it felt to me they were trying to emulate Guardians of the Galaxy. Suicide Squad may just turn out to be Guardians of the Galaxy for WB slash DC Comics, but I felt... Okay, my opinion is not important, but that trailer hit like a bomb. Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, all the social medias. Everybody was like, oh, now this is a movie I can get behind. The Mamma Mia's and the gunshots going like... Doof, 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 doof. Perfect timing, or somebody with a lot of time in the editing room going like, No, I will sell this movie to people! <clears throat> and there you have it. People weren't actually on board yet, until the second trailer. And then the buzz picked up quite a bit. Granted, people are still saying it looks like a Hot Topic movie, but that's the benefits of being a European. I've got no fucking clue what they sell at Hot Topic. I've never even seen a Hot Topic, let alone have been inside it to see the wares. Ghostbusters, and I'm not talking about the 80s classic. I'm to more talking about the, as of this date, upcoming Ghostbusters. Again, there's people saying they like what they see. And there's people saying they absolutely abhor it. Now... Granted, I'm not going to try to turn this into a discussion on whether or not the next Ghostbusters is going to live up to the fame or if it's going to be as good or mythology. Or... To me, personally, it was a bad trailer. I, I laughed a couple of times, maybe an indication of some good jokes or just the best jokes in the trailer. Very much so the case with Deadpool. I'm not saying Deadpool was bad, I'm saying some of the best jokes felt to be have been in the trailer. But the new Ghostbusters, and again, I'm, this is actually not a talk about Ghostbusters, I've been thinking about the don't judge a movie based on a trailer thing. <sighs> they, the scenes are very long, they show in the trailer, like the possession of, I must admit, I'm very bad with names. We've pointed this out before. Um, the actress gets possessed, the one that's the Ray Winston analogue, and Leela Jones, the one name I do know because there's an upheaval about her not being a scientist, slaps her. The power of pain compels you. 
I'm not going to try and do an accent or an imitation because I would be very rubbish at it. <clears throat> and she smacks the living fuck out of her several times. I like that. But now you already know how that entire scene is going to play out. Lady Professor is going to get possessed. Lily Jones' character, public service employee, is going to say, Oh, hell no! no I'm, I did it. I didn't. I did. Oh, I'm sorry. She's going to go, Oh, hell no! And then slap her. And then the ghost is going to leave the first lady's body. So... The entire trailer just feels like like a best off reel. So it didn't sell me on Ghostbusters at all. And I'm not one of those people that's going to say, Oh, well, this is going to ruin the movies. No. I probably still want to see it. But now I have less of an inclination to go see it in the cinemas. Same thing with Superman, no, hang on, I mean to say a Batman v Superman because Batman comes first, not Superman even though his movie started the franchise I feel like already they've shown me everything I need to know about the movie in the trailers so I don't want to go see it My opinions of Man of Steel might have something to do with that because I am personally not very fond of Man of Steel. Understatement of the century. So, when someone says, by the medium of a meme, let's talk about memes some other day, right? Yeah. That don't judge a movie based on a trailer, trying to liken it akin to don't judge a book based on its cover, I feel that statement rings very false. It feels like you have all these clever sorts, at least the publishing companies, the movie companies, uh, hire them based on the ideas that they're clever sorts. So these clever sorts, the marketing people, the, 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 the develop, ah, whatever, <clears throat> you know exactly who I mean. There's a lot. They're being paid to get this movie across from the people that made it to the people that want to have to go see it. You're one of those people. I'm one of those people. So, the moment where their trailers, their posters, their billboards, their jingles on the radio, the adverts, the spots, the Super Bowl prime time money they spend into it, millions upon millions because again look at Deadpool Deadpool had a poster a day like I don't think they actually put out all the posters but you had one no oh God, I'm not even going to describe all of them Deadpool tried to go for the viral marketing so if a trader falls flat and you have the feeling you don't want to go see that movie based on that trailer and somebody is telling you like huh, well maybe you should go see the movie first before you judge it tell them to piss off <laughs> that's it that's really it that's that's all I wanted to say no, I didn't want to say tell him to piss off. I just really meant that you are completely in your right to not want to go see a movie. You can think it looks rubbish. It may not be rubbish. Again, nuanced. Nuances. That's what I meant. Not nuanced. So, that's... What I'd been planning to tell you weeks ago, before I got that throat infection. And if you don't believe I got a throat infection, well, I normally still don't sound like this. I sound like a cigarette smoking man. I like my town. With a little drop of boy.
exact. Shutdown initiated.